Hi, this is PC Roger. I want to welcome you to this short video on upgrading the memory in your computer. And the reason that we're going to do this is because we have this machine on Windows XP. It's got one gigabyte of memory, and we really like to get some better performance out of it, possibly upgrade to Windows 7. Now, if you have Windows Vista, you probably notice that one gigabyte is a little bit light anyway, and you will get better performance out of more memory. With Windows XP, they always kind of thought the sweet spot was about two gigabytes of memory. With Vista, two gig was okay, four is better. And with Windows 7, you really want to look at four if you can. Uh, this is with 32-bit or even the 64-bit. With the 64-bit, you can go higher, but be advised also that with a 32-bit version of either Windows XP or Windows Vista or 7, your machine may only show three gigabytes of memory usable when four gigabytes is installed. But that's maybe a little bit more of an advanced topic. I wanted to just show you how we go through this. Here's my website. It's currently Free Computer Consultant. And uh, it, the new site we've built out is PCRoger.com. A lot shorter and easier to type. You can uh, get a shortcut here to the Crucial Advisor Memory Tool that we are going to be using. And you just type in www.PCRoger.com. You can see uh, I've got the, uh, the shortcut here slash go crucial advisor memory tool and when you plug that in you go straight to the to the tool giving us two options the first is to to scan your system and there's a possibility that this may not work and you can select manually over here on the right but uh, let's take the easy way if we can we'll do scan my system and notice I have a vista scanner here separately but we have xp so we're going to click the scanner and here we have to check the box to agree to the terms and conditions and then download the scanner. We'll just save the file to our desktop here and with Firefox we can just double click this or we can minimize uh, the browser and, and find it. It's warning us here that it's an executable file, it could contain a virus, etc. Click OK and uh, I've run this many times before from Crucial so we're going to just wait just a moment and a new tab will pop up. Here you can see the scan is in progress. And they did correctly identify that I do have a P5KC motherboard. It's manufactured by Asus. Uh, it gives me a, a message here that can't get complete information, but that's okay. It did a good job. This uh, machine does have two different uh, configurations available with both DDR3 and DDR2. We're using the DDR2. Uh, the DDR3 is uh, kind of a different topic, a little bit more expensive and that price will probably be coming down. But uh, here's the capacity and the different capacities based on uh, what you're using. Currently install one gigabyte. Available slots are two. The total is four of the DDR2. Dual channel support is, uh, is indicated as yes, and that's uh, saying here that the memory can be installed one at a time, but the best performance comes from, from using matched pairs. And we have a matched pair in there now with one gig total. We'll probably take that completely out and bump this machine to four gigabytes goal is going to be with this machine to upgrade to Windows 7 and uh, 4 is going to run a lot better. There's a lot of uh, lot of information here, some questions and answers. You can also get a, uh, a pop-up window with a chat to a crucial uh, technician that will help you uh, during the, the hours that are posted on that if you do need any help. But if you notice here on the checkbox we've got DDR2 check, not 3. The uh, crucial is a little bit, uh, a little bit higher uh, performance memory. It's got the uh, the ballistics uh, name on it. Uh, this is just their high speed memory, and this is high speed with LED. And that's just if you have a clear case and you want to see lights blinking inside the machine, we'll uncheck that. And since this machine is uh, designed to run better with matched memory, let's uncheck single and check the two piece. Now I'm not interested in one gig at all. So you can see here whether you have a uh, a four gig kit and it's two gigabyte by two or here's some one gigabyte by two kits that you could put in either one for a total of two gigabytes or you could uh, buy two of those to get the four gigabytes. Now I'm going to just select four gigabyte because that is my goal and here you can see that uh, we have just four options. I think I'd maybe get them all on the screen at once kind of. Uh, the top option and uh, you know there's a little bit of price variance here this is the uh, PC25300. It's a little bit slower memory. The uh, the CL, the class latency timing, is is lower at a 5, but 
if you notice these do change, but there are some other mitigating factors. I don't think that's going to matter for uh, the purposes of anything that uh, we're going to be running. We're just going to look at these speeds here. The uh, the 8500 is is okay, and uh, the 6400 down here is going to be a great choice too in the ballistics. The 8500 actually is kind of an overclocking rate on this motherboard, so I'm going to look at the PC2 6400 and the PC2 6400 ballistics. And you can see there's only about $5 difference between those two. But if we do uh, click through to the buy now, you can see here that uh, the total is just under $100. The uh, shipping is free. And you can go ahead and buy that if you like. And you would end up with uh, a, a 4 gig kit, 2 gigabyte modules, two of the modules. And we would just simply take out the memory that's in there now. Maybe you can uh, use it in another machine, maybe eBay it. I do like to have uh, completely matched memory. So unless I had this type of crucial memory in the box, I really would not want to add anything new to what was in there already. And that's all there is to it. Uh, again, this is a little bit more advanced. If you had a, a Dell or HP computer, something like that, you might see fewer choices you know, without any overclocking options or anything like that. But this Crucial Advisor memory tool really is easy to use, and it shows you, do, you know, what's compatible for your system. It's a, it's a quick purchase, and you know, you're on the road to getting some faster performance and possibly upgrading. Like I say, in this case, we're going to upgrade this machine to Windows 7. But I hope this has been helpful for you. I do have a support form on my website also. If you have questions, you can just go to PCRoger.com. If you want to click the link to the right of this video, if you're watching on YouTube, it'll take you straight to this Crucial Advisor memory tool, and you can get the memory in your machine upgraded right away.